Hey, this is Daryl as a service. I like to use Microsoft Teams a lot to get work done, but there's one scenario that I struggle with. Sometimes you might too. This is when we want to work offline. Maybe we're in a plane, maybe we're somewhere where we can't get to any bandwidth and we want to be able to work on teamwork. Now, of course, we can't chat because of we're not online. We can't communicate with people. You know, it's not quite like uh, with email where we can queue things up and they're going to be sent as soon as we go back online. But there is an aspect of Microsoft Teams that we can work offline, and that is around files. Now, I'm going to explore it today from an iPad. Um, we're going to have a look at the different behaviors that we can prepare for and uh, so we can work online or offline. Um, so let's get to it. We're going to have a look at a Microsoft team called marketing two channels product launch and general and um, of course if we were in chat and we wanted to try and um, you know send something we are online at the moment hi nothing too amazing there so that is a conversation but if we wanted to go offline we'll just turn the wireless off we're not going to be able to send a message and uh, let's try that again hi again all right, so that is sending, sending, sending. It's just going to sit there. It's not going to actually go anywhere as we expect. Now, uh, one thing that we might, though, want to do is work on the files within our team. And I want to show some of the connections between Microsoft Teams, the SharePoint site behind it, and OneDrive. First of all, we're going to have a little look at some theory behind that. We'll have a look at um, Teams needing to be online but maybe the relationship between Teams and being able to synchronize OneDrive documents. So we have our marketing team. Um, we are, of course, um, sitting in marketing and behind the scenes is a SharePoint site uh, with a document library. This is where all the documents are stored and when we go into even our mobile app, that is still where the documents are stored. Nothing changed, just a different way of surfacing it. Um, within our documents library is a folder which is where our files for our channel are in. You'll see the product launch channel that we have a look at. Now one thing we can do, whether it be desktop, uh, iPad or even our mobiles, is we can use OneDrive to connect to that document library. And of course OneDrive allows us to go offline and synchronize our files. Now I want to step through some of this behavior and show you how this works. Because the end goal is to be able to work on a document in Word, which is stored in a team, but we are offline and working maybe on our phone or on our tablet. So let's uh, see how this works in theory. All right, we'll go back to our team. We are offline at the moment. Okay, we still see that message there that says sending, sending. Um, so if I went over to uh, product launch, I've got a, a few documents there. I can see them in the team. These are checklets that represent the, the documents that are in my team. What happens if I hit safety report right now? You're offline. Looks like you're trying to connect to the document. You're not on the internet, so I can't open that. Now here's something interesting about that. The files themselves, sitting in teams, represented by teams, I've actually gone back in the, in the background and synchronize them with OneDrive. So I'd expect it to actually still open. I'd still expect it to come in the background and then allow me to open that locally with a Word app. Let's uh, let's step through and have a look at, at the where this is connected to OneDrive. Now as we know OneDrive is not just about our personal files in OneDrive for business. Here's a, a bunch of my, my business files, I can store business cards, etc. Um, but over here on libraries, I can see all the library, well, at least all the team sites that I'm connected to. Now these are team sites that are just sites on their own. They're also, in marketing's case, a um, Microsoft Office 365 group. And, uh, and that's also connected to a Microsoft team. There's a few there that are connected to Outlook groups and, and Yammer groups. So we'll go back into marketing. Um, we can see the document library. Um, which we don't see from the Teams experience, do but we go to we go to Documents, and um, there's our product launch channel. So we'll go into there. Right. So the the documents are there. We can actually see the the memo document, um, and I've I've gone in the background and I've said I want to synchronize that whole folder. If I go back up one level, what I've done is I've used uh, the ellipsis menu, 
and I've changed it to say synchronize these to um, being available offline. Let's do that with general, for example. All right, so that's what I would normally see if I haven't synchronized it yet. Make available offline. So isn't that strange? I've got the documents, they're sitting offline and available. Um, I have got, let's say, uh, Memo, for example. All right, here's a preview of it within OneDrive. Haven't opened it up yet in the, uh, the Word app, so let's do that. Okay, and this is one that I opened earlier. Great. So if I've been working on something recently on my iPad, that works, good. Um, what would happen if, um, let's have a look, we'll go back to our OneDrive, we'll go back into our, whoops, we'll go back into our team. And uh, we wanted to open up Project Memo 1, so that's this one here. Now, we're offline, okay, sad but true. What about if I go back into OneDrive and look for Project Memo 1? Project Memo 1, here it is, tap, there's the preview, okay, this is good so far. What about into Word, huh? What's the story here? I've synchronized it, it's available in OneDrive, but I can't open it in the Word app. This is one of the things that I found as a shortcoming. Maybe a hole in this scenario around being able to work from anywhere, but I need to draw Microsoft's attention to this because it really doesn't behave the way that I would expect. Should I have to open this document on my um, iPad uh, to make sure that it is downloaded into Word and it's got cached into Word? No, I expect that if I've synchronized it into OneDrive, that it's sitting there ready for me to use. Not the case, sadly. So one that we have, um, which you, you did see earlier, we've um, we've opened up a memo, right? And we'll open that in Word. No. So it is available to see and preview from OneDrive, but not from the Word app. So what do we have to do? Let's go back online. And it appears the behavior is that we have to be online first and it has to go right through to being able to open in Word before we can actually work on it offline. Hmm, let's go through this again. Actually, we'll go right from Teams. Memo, it's the one we just tried just now. Great, it's showing us, uh, at least within Teams as a preview. Let's hit the edit button at the top right hand corner. Opening, downloading, we're online, okay, good, great. So the document is there. Now, you'll notice when you're working in mobile apps that when you download something, that it is actually downloading it and saving it. You can see that um, this one here, <laughs> how do I synchronize that symbol like that? Yeah, we go, we'll pin that. So to draw your attention, we've got there, it's memo. It is available and downloaded at 5.25 p.m. a minute ago or so. Right, so that's good. Let's go back offline and open up that document. Great, we can get in there and we can edit it. Um, is it the same experience if we go back to Microsoft Teams? We're still offline, we've definitely got the documents available, um, available to us offline because we've opened it in Word and it was already synchronized anyway uh, via OneDrive. Let's go back into Memo, we see our preview. This is good so far, can we edit it? Yes, we can. Right. So, hopefully what I'm showing you there is that if you want to work offline in Teams or f actually even between OneDrive and just uh, an Office app, you have to open the document within the app itself for it to be downloaded. It's not enough to have it synchronized in the background. A little bit of a weakness there for the iPad experience at least. Now, uh, I might go through this again on, um, let's say, Surface Pro, and we'll, we'll go through the, the offline and online scenarios. But just to show you there that um, the theory is, if you have synchronized, I'll grab that color there. If you have synchronized it down, at least the product launch document library down, um, then you would expect to be able to work through Word Online. You expect to be able to go to that document and uh, start to work on it. And then it, it, it's 
sit in there in OneDrive, right? So you should be able to just go ahead and work. But what we're seeing is that if you haven't done that already in Word, then it does an online check at that point and it can't find it. So, got a bit of work to do. Um, sort of works, sort of doesn't. We found some workarounds. Let me know what you think. Um, certainly uh, pitch in with me and pass on the, the uh, response to, to Microsoft that this is an area that does need a bit of work. Uh, we'll catch you again in the next video. If you like uh, what I'm producing, then uh, do subscribe to Daryl as a Service and also catch me over at Regarding365. See you again soon.